Hey guys, hope you are all doing good. In this video, we will be addressing a very important question as to why coding is important and also why coding skills are required for mechanical engineers. To begin with, say you want to write a program to do the sum of two numbers and display it in the command window. So writing this program will take around 3 to 5 minutes but on the other hand when you do it using pen and paper or mind calculation it can be finished in no time. So we might think that the latter one is time saving but say you have a problem where you have to do same calculation 10 to the power 4 times. How much time will it take by using pen and paper or calculator? Comment below because I am not going to do that as I have MATLAB for solving my purpose. Let us consider a practical example. Say you have a two dimensional plate in which the temperature is to be found out. Okay, the analytical solution for the temperature is given in terms of Taylor series expansion. So for calculating the temperature at particular x and y, you need to do 100 calculations for one point. And say you have your plate is divided into 80 by 80 grid points. So the number of calculations you have to do is 80 into 80 into 100. That is 64 into 10 to the power 4 calculations with speed as well as accuracy which is highly impossible for human brain to do that calculation and if you are using calculator also it is highly impossible for calculating 64 into 10 to the power 4 calculations. Okay. Now that you have understood the importance of programming coming to the next question why coding skills are required for mechanical engineers. One might think why should I bother about coding when I have canned software packages like Fluent, Convert, etc. You need to understand that CFD is not all about using the canned packages but to understand the physics behind the problem. So let me tell about my experience. I learnt ANSYS before I started with programming. In ANSYS, I used second order upwind scheme for momentum equation and initialized the solution without knowing why am I doing that. Later when I started programming, I got to know the answer for all the questions. So that's all for this video. If you guys like this video, like it, share it and subscribe to my channel eSkills. Thank you. Have a good day.